Hi guys, I recently uploaded a video where I commended the quality of journalism at Channel 4, where they held the Tory Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick to account over his comments about asylum seekers. But if you want to find the opposite of quality journalism in Scotland, you can find it in the BBC. Here BBC Scotland ran a report on a guy who took part in a green insulation scheme, which involved contractors installing and removing the insulation, but it has resulted in black mould in his home. Listen to who he and the reporters blame for this problem. A homeowner says his South Lanarkshire flat has been ruined by black mould caused by a Scottish Government green insulation scheme. Blaine Patterson is in dispute with the council over his claim that cavity wall insulation has led to nearly a decade of problems. He spent thousands on reports that suggest its installation and botched removal have caused persistent damp. The local authority argues the work was carried out by contractors. They're trying to get it fixed for the eight years I've been trying to get it. I've tried literally everything and you're just left in a situation where who do you turn to? I mean, this was a Scottish government scheme that's just completely ruined my home and there's no help anywhere to get it fixed. It's ludicrous. Um, how, is it, how is it the scheme that ruined your home? and not the shoddy work done by the contractors. Like, even in the report it says here, the, the council is blaming the contractors. Because if the scheme was the problem, then everyone would be facing the same issues. Everyone in Scotland who uh, took advantage of this green energy or green insulation scheme will be seeing black mould in their homes. There would, be an inter there would be a national report done on this, and the, and the scheme will be stopped. But that's not happening, because it seems to be just down to contractor work. Like, once again, I, I don't know the ins and outs of this case, but you would imagine if this was a problem for everyone, then it would be reported as this, is, this scheme is causing the problem. But if it's happening just to one guy that we know of, I, I imagine there are more, but for, all we have is this data, you know, one guy reporting that he had this problem, then obviously it has to be down to contractor work. Now, when it comes to the journalism, the, the reporters here should be saying, yes, this guy is blaming the Scottish government, but it's not the Scottish government's fault. How can it be the Scottish government's fault? They didn't install the insulation in the first hand or remove it. It was a contractor that did it. What is the angle here? We want to blame the Scottish government for things that they haven't done. Is this another case of S&P Green, Green's bad? <laughs> you know, and I've been told by people in Scotland, this seems to be part and parcel of the, the BBC in Scotland. You know, whenever something good happens, it's nothing to do with the S&P. Whenever something bad happens, it's of course the S&P's fault. And here we have again, you know, a guy who's, re who's claiming that it's the Scottish government's fault that there's mould in his home, when it's the contractors that did the work. I'm trying to come up with an analogy here, but I can't. You can't... Look, I, it, it, let's imagine it happened in England. And the and I'm, you know, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible here. If the Tories had a policy to upgrade insulation in people's homes, and then somebody had mould in their homes, I wouldn't blame the Tories for that. I'd blame the contractor, the people who actually did the work. It's nonsensical. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.